garlic dal and for this I have used here one cup of urad dal and half a cup of moong dal uh, you can make it with uh, any one of the dal I am using here two dals so now I am going to pressure cook it round about for uh, two to three whistles and adding salt two cups of water and a little bit of turmeric powder or haldi powder after pressure cooking it until uh, two whistles my dal has been uh, well cooked now I will heat a pan and to eat I am going to add round about uh, one tablespoon of ghee and uh, one tablespoon of white oil into it you can make it in ghee too but I have used a little bit uh, less ghee and I am going to add here one finely chopped onion and one inch finely chopped ginger into it and I'll fry this it till it's golden brown while my onions is being fried I'm just uh, going to pluck some fresh uh, parlor leaves from my kitchen garden it's in the rooftop and fresh parlor here I'll wash it out it's organic and fresh and now I will roughly chop this parlor and it's round about uh, two cups of palak I have used here and uh, my onions have been fried well and now I will add half a teaspoon of haldi powder half a teaspoon of uh, red chilli powder or according to taste one teaspoon of dhania powder and half a teaspoon of zira powder and salt to taste remember we have added salt in the dal so do it accordingly and now after fr stir frying it for a few minutes so now I am going to add the palak here and uh, mix it well together till the palak is softened it's a wonderful dal uh, palak lasuni and it tastes wonderful uh, you can try this out instead of your regular dal and now I will add the boiled dal into it and mix it well I will add around about uh, 2 cups of uh, water here to so that the dal doesn't become too thick cook it for around about uh, two three minutes and i will add around about uh, just a pinch of uh, sugar into it so that the taste enhance better and let it cook uh, till two to three boils comes in the dal this lasani palak dal is very tasty and I'm going to make this the dhaba style. My dal has been well cooked now. And now I will transfer this in a bowl. And next step is the main thing which we get the taste of dhaba. So I'm going to show. Let me transfer this first in a bowl, in a serving bowl. And the magic will come a little bit later. I'm almost done now. Hope you are liking my videos. And do subscribe, don't forget to subscribe my video and give a like. And now the dhaba style comes here. I'm going to take a pan into it. I'm going to add 2 tablespoons of ghee. Yes, you need to add 2 tablespoons of desi ghee. And I'm adding here 2 to 3 um, dried red chilies. And round about 2 tablespoons of chopped garlic. You need to fry this garlic till it's a little bit of brown in color to get the aroma and the flavor. My kitchen is full of uh, garlic aroma and I will add half a teaspoon of whole zira or cumin seeds here and stir fry it till it's brown in, till my um, garlic is brown in color. Now I'm going to add one teaspoon of Kashmiri red chili switch off the gas and now the dhava style comes here i'm going to add this tarka into my serving bowl and believe me the aroma full aroma in my kitchen is wonderful do try this recipe and let me know in the comment section how did you like it and do serve this with rice dal papad salad and raita your complete meal is ready here and see it's wonderful taste I cannot resist <laughs> so now I'm going to try this and with some papad salad raita and enjoy the food tonight